हे गाइज अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ नेहा गुप्ता यूर मेंट ऑफ अ करंट अफेयर्स सो गाइज हियर वी हैव द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एज पर द ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टमेंट ट्रेंड्स मॉनिटर 2022 ट्वेंटी टू रिपोर्ट ऑफ यू एन सी टैग एफ डी आई फ्लोज इन इंडिया वर डैश परसेंट लोअर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो गाइज वट हैज अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस रिपोर्ट is that in 2020 india received a good amount of fdi flows okay we are talking about inflows and outflows both so fdi flows in india were good in 2020 particularly the inflows because of the large uh, merger and acquisition deals that were announced in 2020 but what has happened in a year after this year so in 2021 the fdi flows have lowered by 26% but why is this so the reason behind this is that in 2021 there were not many international merger and acquisition deals particularly by india or indian co companies that's why the fdi flows in 2021 have lowered by 26% in comparison to the 2020 fdi flows that were there but what does this report say about the global scenario so let's come to that So as far as the entire world is concerned in 2021 FDI flows have recorded uh, a a ground breaking achievement okay at US dollar 1.65 trillion so it is guys an increment of 77% from the previous years FDI flows that were US dollar 929 billions in 2020 now why are the uh, fdi flows at the global level have increased whereas we are seeing that in india the fdi flows have lowered so the reason behind this is the growth is the high hiked investment hiked uh, consumption at the global scale because in many countries covid restrictions and lockdowns were lifted in 2021 and many countries recovered from the covid itself okay however complete recovery was not there but partial recovery has also led to an increment in the fdi flows as well as economic recovery so that's why at the global scale we have an increment of uh, 77% in the fdi flows and why has india's fdi flows lowered that i have already told you because we did not see that much of the great scale merger and acquisition deals plus the lockdown was also there second wave of corona in 2021 had battered the economic recovery of india so all of these reasons are there okay now as far as the uh, uh, the fdi flows in the developed world are concerned so the developed economies saw the biggest rise by far okay so this is the biggest rise in the fdi flows which stands at us dollar 777 billion in 2021 whereas in developing economies the increment was by 30% that amounts to us dollar 870 billion so these are the amounts that you need to know from your examination point of view out of the total increment that is there in the global fdi flows in 2021 that is us dollar 718 billions out of this more than 500 billions were there in the developed economy so fdi flows inflows going into the developed world as well as outflows emanating from the developed world both of them okay summing together come uh, makes the fdi flows and developed world has a major share of the fdi flows in 2021 and i don't think that i need to state the reason here because the developed world has more money therefore it invest in other countries at the same time it also offers a great amount of opportunity to other investors from the developing world and the developed uh, under developed world so the high net worth individuals tend to go to the developed economies to invest their money so that's why the developed world saw the increment of more than 500 billion in the total fdi flows do remember we are not only talking about the inflows here it's the global fdi flow next is the developing economies so the recovery in the fdi flows in the developing economies was modest moving ahead fdi trends in select economies okay so us us saw the highest amount of increment in the fdi flows us dollar 323 billion which is an increment of 114% so this is a huge increment that us has witnessed and the cross border merger and acquisitions have tripled to us dollar 285 billion worth of value next is china 
FDI inflows of China has also increased. So here in particularly we are talking about the inflows of China. Okay, so 179 billion US dollar inflows were received by China in 2021, which is an increment of 20%. Next is India. So India's um, FDI flows were lowered by 20 uh, by 26% uh, in 2021. Next is South Asia. So FDI flows decreased by 24% to 54 billion US dollar in 2021 from 71 billion in 2020. So in overall region, in the South Asian region, the FDI flows have decreased in 2021. Okay guys, that was the report. Now let's move on to the next question. Which country has organized the 4th Asia Ministerial Conference on Tiger Conservation in partnership with Global Tiger Forum? So here the right answer is option D, Malaysia. Now guys, this is the 4th edition of this Asia Ministerial Conference on Tiger Conservation. India is one of the leading uh, founders of the Global Tiger Forum. Do remember this thing and you also must be aware of this fact that India has already achieved the target of doubling the population of tigers in, uh, tigers before 2022. So the target year of doubling the uh, population of tigers was 2022 and India has achieved that way ahead of its target year. Okay, so that was something that was highlighted by Bhupendra Yadav, the Minister of Environment in India. Okay, the most important statement here is this, the Global Tiger Summit is going to be held, uh, is going to be hosted by Vladivostok, Russia, Russia in Vladivostok later this year. So this year only this summit is going to be held and in 2018 India achieved the target of doubling the population of tigers. So here my question for you all is, can you guys tell me what is the population of tigers at present, the number I am asking you. So do mention it in the comment section below, particularly because uh, this convention, this conference is there in the news. Therefore, they can very well ask you the number of tigers in India at present. So do mention it in the comment section. Now the budgetary allocation. So do remember in 2022, 300 crores have been allocated for the tiger conservation and uh, you can clearly see the increment in the budget. This highlights the significance we are attaching to the conservation of tigers. So from 185 crores in 2014, the amount has increased to rupees 300 crores in 2022. Now 14 tiger reserves have already been awarded with this international CATS accreditation that is given for tiger conservation. So already these many tiger reserves are under this accreditation and many more are, uh, are just putting their efforts to get this accreditation. Okay, so that was all about this conference. Let's move on to the next question. Which country has launched the my uh, 2022 app for daily monitoring of covid cases so here guys the relation to this application is with olympics so here the answer is china so as you must be knowing that winter olympics are just started uh, uh, in china and with this uh, in order to just uh, allow the athletes, allow the participants uh, in the Olympics uh, to check their uh, COVID status, to check their uh, health, this application has been launched by China. Although many experts in the IT domain are saying that this application is not safe because it does not have certain uh, certain uh, uh, qualifications or we can say certain technologies that would prevent breaches like the encryption code, uh, encryption quality is not there or uh, something like that is missing in this application which we obviously do not need to know from our examination point of view but yes this application has been claimed by experts that it is not safe the data breach the threat of data breach is looming over this application so that is there plus china has also said this thing that in order to prevent cyber attack uh, uh, from breaching the olympics scenario uh, China has banned or basically has directed the athletes, the international athletes to keep their phones and their devices at home and China will provide the athletes with the temporary mobiles to use, temporary devices to use. That was just the direction that was given by China and this is a, a, again not very important from the exam point of view. Okay, that was just for the information. Now the most important part is that Mohammad Arif Khan from 
Jammu and Kashmir is the only person only athlete who is going to represent India at the Winter Olympics but you must be aware of this fact that India has already boycotted the Winter Olympics so now we are not going to participate in the Winter Olympics but the person who was supposed to uh, represent India at the Winter Olympics can become a question for you in the examination and do remember alpine skier he is an alpine skier it it is his uh, sports and he belongs to Jammu and Kashmir okay moving ahead United Nations Security Council members used virtual reality technology for the first time to embark on a virtual field trip to which country so here the right answer is Colombia your question for, uh, is that you have to tell me the capital and currency of Colombia in the comment section below. Now what has happened recently that United Nations Security Council has used the virtual technology for the first time to go on a field trip to Colombia where they were actually uh, experiencing the trip to Colombia. So that has happened which is obviously not of a great scale. This news is obviously not uh, uh, we can say not fraught with a lot of facts that you need to know but yes this has happened and the probable question that can come out of it is right in front of you so do pay attention to it as well so the guy uh, last question for today guys is which state ut has started the operation subject to reduce crime in the union territory okay so here guys the right answer is delhi delhi has launched this operation sajak and the basic purpose of this is to reduce the crime in the union territory okay and it's a minor fact that after the adoption of this operation the northwest district police basically has uh, worked towards it and re and the result is that they have witnessed a sharp decline of 24 percent in the pcr calls so that was just a minute fact that you can very well ignore from the exam point of view but do remember that delhi has launched this operation sajak so guys here this session ends i hope that you have enjoyed the session okay the important information for you all is that i did not give you in the uh, beginning of this uh, video is that this pdf is downloadable and the link of the channel is in description below from where you can download the pdf plus guys if you like the content provided by us then do not forget to subscribe the channel hit the bell notification thank you so much for watching this video